guys, today I'm going to be bringing back a tag that Emily Noel created a couple years ago, the $1,000 Sephora fantasy cart. And with the friends and family sale happening right now and the fall VIB sale right around the corner, I thought this would be a fun way to share with you what's on my wish list and hear your thoughts on these products. Let me know if I should put them off until a future sale or if I should remove them completely or if I have to buy them right now, I would love to know your thoughts. I will have my original video linked down below and Emily's video. So for $1,000, to be exact, $995, I can get 32 products from my wish list. That's it for $1,000. So I do have some idea for when I want to purchase these products for the friends and family sale. I want to get things that I think will be perfect for fall, things I'm dying to try right now, and some holiday launches that I am just worried about selling out before the fall sale. Fall sale is mostly going to be holiday launches that I'm interested in, getting some things maybe for some people to give me for Christmas. I know that is lame, that's just how I am. And then I do have a lot, as you'll see, a lot of clean beauty products in here that I'm interested in, but I do know they expire quickly. So I'm thinking I can save a lot of these for the spring sale. Not that I'm going to use up a ton of products between here and now, but I do also know that in the next couple months, especially around Christmas time, Black Friday sales, I'm going to be bringing in a lot more makeup and maybe won't have as much time to give proper attention to these clean beauty products. So I have to split these up somehow. So that is what I'm thinking for now. So let's just get into the products. I have separated them by product type just to have a little bit of order here and I will put some pictures on the screen. First, starting with primer. I love trying primer, but primer samples, I don't often buy face primers, but I am so interested in the Cali Ray So Blown Blurring Collagen Peptide Primer. One ounce is $36, which is a little pricey. Some of their products, like the lip glosses, I think are pretty affordable, but the skin tint is very pricey. I do really like it though. And I saw Babs Beauty really rave about this one and she has more of a combo oily skin type. So I think it actually would end up working for me. For foundation type products, I only have two. The first would be something that I can wait to get, the Tower 28 Skin Tint. And this is something that I did try in the past and I didn't love at the time, but that was really before I got into skin tints and I think that I would probably like it more now. It is called the Sunny Days SPF 30 Tinted Sunscreen Foundation. My perfect color would be 10 Larchment, which is very fair and yellow tone. This retails for $30. And then the other foundation I want is pretty expensive. This is from RMS Beauty. The new products that they have been launching since their rebrand have been really fun. So this is the Re-Evolve Medium Coverage Liquid Foundation. I would get the lightest shade 000, which looks yellow tone and it is $48. Next I have some cream cheek products. Cream bronzer I want to try would be the Charlotte Tilbury Cream Bronzer. I would get the lightest shade Fair, although I'm a little nervous about that because it looks slightly olive tone, which I don't think works on me for the most part. I actually prefer a warmer, slightly orange cream bronzer over something olive or red. I think that just works better on my skin tone, but I think the medium shade would be too dark. So I want to swatch this in person. It is $56, which is really expensive. And I have gotten a lot of cream bronzers recently. People have really been dying over the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer, which again is that cream bronzer type product. And I've heard that it is pretty sheer. So I would go with the color light medium because I do still want it to show up on me. And as someone that is very fair, I can have a really hard time with cream bronzer and powder bronzer looking crazy, especially around my hairline. But I really do want to use it because I have a big forehead. So I think that this would just be lovely, 30 bucks. This is something that I can also wait on. And I've had it on my wish list and removed it a couple of times, but I swatched it in store and it looks really good. The Kaja Play Bento Cream Bronzer Powder Blush and Highlight Sculpting Trio in the lightest shade number one, Butter Up. And it is $28. I know Samantha March really loves that cream bronzer. Then a new holiday set, the Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Liquid Blush 3-piece set. It comes with a full size in the shade Encourage and then two minis in Happy and Truth and this is $30. And I really am going back and forth on this, 
but last year they had a set that included a mini of bliss and I didn't get at the time and I wish that I had because I do think I would have used the other colors so I think I need to just pick this up I would have rather though that they had three minis because it's still a lot of product for 20 bucks or four minis for 25 30 dollars something like that because I don't need a full size one but I do think that the color they chose for the full size was a good choice. Then I have another cream blush, the Melt Cosmetics Cream Blush Light in Honey Thief. $24, I've heard good things about this formula. Babs Beauty really likes this and this is a pretty color. This is something that I can wait to get as well, but I have swatched it and it looks really nice. So next I have a powder blush on here, just one, which is surprising. And that would be the RMS Beauty Redimension Hydra Powder Blush. I would be interested in getting a few of the shades, but the one color I would like to start with is Pomegranate Fizz. It is described as a sunny effervescent red pink, 30 bucks. Then I do want one of the Pat McGrath single highlighters. I have tried the highlights in her little cheek trues and they're really good. This color looks beautiful. Lauren May Beauty has raved about it. It is the Skin Fetish Divine Glow Highlight in the lightest color Lunar Allure. And it is $48, which is crazy. Pat is just way too expensive. And the last face product would be the Patrick Todd Major Dimensions Blush and Highlighter Volume 2 Palette. So you have got a pink cream and powder blush, a peach, and then you have a highlight duo. So I was so excited about this because last year's palette, the colors were just too intense for me and I think these look better. However, it is a bummer because the shades that you see online seem to be very different than what you get in person and for the highlight duo I heard that the powder is chunky and that the cream is just a gloss it's not actually a cream highlight which I think is annoying but I still really want to try this out but I'm I'm a little nervous I think the cream and the powder blushes have shimmer in them or a little glitter which people have not enjoyed so even though people are not loving this I still want to try it because I'm nuts. Then moving on to eyes, I want to try the brow products from Kosas. I almost bought them last year because there was a kit with the pencil tinted brow gel and clear brow gel, but they did not have the color that I want, which is honey blonde. They just had taupe. Pardon me wishes I did get it because it was a really good set and they literally just had it for the sale last year and then poof, gone, haven't had it again. But I really do think the Honey Blonde is going to be better for my preference for the warmer hair color. I know that my roots are very cool tone, but I do prefer to dye my hair a warmer color. So the brow pencil is called the Brow Pop Clean Dual Action Defining Eyebrow Pencil, $24. And then they have the Air Brow Tinted Clean Volumizing Eyebrow Gel, also $24. Again, like I said, I would pick the color Honey Blonde. I know Kosas products do go bad quickly. I know that they tend to smell. So whenever I get this, I have to start using it right away because I will be damned if these products go bad. And I do, surprisingly, I only have one eyeshadow palette on here right now. And that is really kind of because of the total. I know that I'm going to want the Huda Beauty Empowered palette, but I did not put it on here because it would be over my thousand dollars. So I, I do want that though. But I do want to get the Natasha Denona My Dream eyeshadow palette. It looks really, really pretty. And I've seen wonderful looks with it. And I don't want to be a collector of her palettes, but I'm interested in this one. For me, Pat McGrath, not worth the money, but Natasha Denona, I like them. And they're a little bit cheaper. So this is 69 bucks. I'm very annoyed that her prices went up. I feel like her things are already overpriced. So for these palettes to go from 65 to 69 is very irritating to me. And then the other eye product that I want would be the Tower 28 Beauty Make Waves Lengthening and Curling Clean Mascara. Retails for 20 bucks. I've heard really good things about this so far, but I definitely don't need any mascaras right now. So I can wait until the spring sale for this one. And then we have too many lip products. So I do want to try the Kosas Plump and Juicy Lip Booster Buttery Treatment, $25. I've only heard, it's just Steph talked about this and she said it had an odd scent or flavor, I believe. So I would love to see this in person, see what I think of the smell and the texture, but we'll see about that. I also have had my wish list for a while. The Lawless Forget the Filler Overnight Lip Plumping Mask in Sweet Dreams. They did come out with a red one. This is the original, $21. and. I do want to try this because it's plumping, which is interesting to me, but I have so many potted lip balms right now and they take a very long time to get through. Then I have the Natasha Denona My Dream Lip Liner 
in the shade Natasha. It is $24 and I did try one of the I Need a Rose lip liners and I loved the formula. So hopefully this shade will work well for me. I'm also interested in the Rare Beauty Mini Kind Words Matte Lip Duo. It's a mini of her lip liner and lipstick in the color Humble, which is the color I was interested in. So that works out perfectly. $20 for these two minis, which I don't think is bad. I would have liked it to be like maybe 15, but I don't think 20 is terrible. And I would love to get this and try the formula and see if maybe I want the color worthy, which is a little bit more mauve would be good for winter. Then there are two new lipstick formulas that are both called blur. So I want to try them and compare them. This one is brand new. The Freck Beauty Makeout Club Soft Blur Lipstick. $24 and I want the lightest color Muse, which is described as a pink beige. And then Say recently came out with the Lip Blur Soft Matte Hydrating Lipstick with Hyaluronic Acid and I picked the lightest shade Modern and it is $24 as well. Then I have several of the Makeup by Mario Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serums on here. Bear Glow is one of the original shades and that is a pink. Then I do have four shades of the Makeup by Mario Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serums on here. One is an original shade Bare Glow, which is a peachy nude, that's $24. And then I do want three of the new ones that don't have shimmer, they're just a cream. And these are very similar. You have Petal Glow, Rosewood Glow, and Blush Glow. I swatched them in person. They're different. I don't necessarily need all three of them, but I can't tell which one I want most right now. Then some glosses. The Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Plumper Line Smoothing Gloss in George, which is their nude color, $25. I don't love this formula as much as I love the Tower 28 glosses. This is a little thicker and stickier, but I still want this color. Then I have a Natasha Denona My Dream lip gloss in the color Natasha. This is $27. I again tried one of the shades from the I Need a Rose collection and loved the formula. So I do want this one and hopefully the lip liner and gloss aren't too cool toned for my preference. And then this is new, the Kosas Mini Wet Set Undressed Volume 2 Plumping Gloss Trio. I did buy the original nude set, so I do want this one as well, $25. These are new shades, and I'm so thankful that I saw some people post some hauls on Instagram because if it wasn't for those people, I would not have known about the Kosas set or the Freck lipstick because Sephora does a really awful job of showing you the new releases actually by the newest. Ulta does good, Sephora does not. So sometimes you have to really go digging for the new products. Lastly, I have four perfumes that I tried samples of this year and I really love them. So I want to get travel spray or rollerball sizes of all of them. And the first one would be something that I think will be really great for spring, summer, and that would be Juliet Has a Gun Pear Ink, $30 for the mini size. And it comes with 0.25 ounces or 7.5 mils, which is not a ton. I know that the, their products are pretty expensive. Another one that will be good for spring, summer is the Clean Reserve Aqua Neroli, $28 for 0.33 ounces or 10 mils. And this reminds me, of the Mary Kate and Ashley NYC in LA perfumes. I don't know which one, but this is like a more adult version of that, which is why I really love it and want it. Then something for fall winter is the Givenchy Irresistible. This is $38 and it comes with 0.67 ounces or 20 mils, which is not terrible. And lastly is one that I tried and surprised me because it's a Victor and Rolf perfume and I usually don't like them and find them to be way too intense. But this is the Flower Bomb Ruby Orchid and it's $33 for a 0.34 ounce or 10 mil size. So I think that this is a really good wish list and I would love to hear your thoughts on these products in the comments down below. I know I will be getting a lot of these but there are some things I can see you know putting off till spring and then maybe by spring I'll change my mind because there will be other things that have come out that I want more but let me know your thoughts for my idea of when I want to get these things and if I should get them at all please please share your thoughts if you've tried them. I would love to know what's on your wish list. Did you get anything during the friends and family sale and what are you thinking about for fall? So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like comment and subscribe and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.